quantity and quality are your keys to profitability in the paper industry. A vital link in achieving those goals is the winding process. Only by understanding the physical forces and their influence on the winding process can you maximize the quality and quantity of your operation. By combining experience, research, and the latest technology, the Lloyd Corporation, Lennox Division, has advanced the design of winders to achieve speeds and productivity levels once considered impossible. And how has Beloit harnessed the physical forces of the winding process? By isolating the three key variables which affect winding, tension, nip, and torque. By understanding TNT, we've developed the ability to interpret each of these variables and how they control roll structure. The Lennox Division specializes in the design and manufacture of high-quality winders and finishing equipment. The facility includes a state-of-the-art measurements lab, where through the use of special video equipment, high-speed movement can be analyzed in slow motion. Beloit has developed a proprietary roll structure analyzer called a WIT-WAT to study wound intention and wound off tension. This service is available to all customers to evaluate and improve their shipping roll quality. Plus, the facility has a full-size experimental winder, which is used extensively for testing new concepts and designs. Felcad, developed by Beloit, allows the engineers to design hardware that maximizes performance. Our roll meter profiler offers an accurate and consistent method to measure roll profile. Through continuous research, Beloit finishing scientists have taken the arts out of the process and made it a true science. This is done by the proper and consistent control of tension, nip, and torque. And why are these so important? Because they are the key to ideal roll structure. Maximum profitability depends on being able to wind a roll of paper with consistent and repeatable wound roll quality. For example, in the newsprint industry, our target is to achieve less than one web break per hundred rolls. First, to achieve consistent roll structure, the core should be wound tightly. Then, as the roll is wound, the wound in tension should decrease gradually to the outside diameter with no abrupt changes along the way. The acceptable wound in tension window varies depending on paper grade and the uniformity of the sheet profile. The operating window becomes smaller as the diameter becomes larger. Remember, it's the differential nip force, not the total nip force, that most often causes wound roll defects. Wound roll defects result from two sources, the winder and the parent roll. Although the winder doesn't make paper, it should accept paper with profile variations. Now, let's look how the winder and paper interact. The winding process may appear straightforward, but in fact, there are many complex mechanical forces at work. During the winding process, the roll of paper has a constantly changing natural frequency. To avoid vibration-related problems, our winders are designed to take these factors into account. Correct winding is essential because every roll must be subsequently unwound in converting and printing operations. In shipping, a loose core area can telescope. A soft start, followed by hard outer layers, can cause the collapse of roll structure, commonly known as starring. Poor roll structure can result in paper breaks, crepe wrinkles, offsets, corrugations, and other problems. Now that we've looked at the mechanics of winding, let's examine how the tools of tension, nip, and torque are used to control roll structure. Because paper is elastic, a tangential force or tension will produce a corresponding radial pressure, known as wound-in tension. This in turn determines the tightness of a roll. Wound-in tension is controlled by three factors, nip pressure, torque between the drums, and incoming paper tension. In rear drum wrap winders, on certain grades, incoming tension exerts a negligible effect on wound in tension because it's isolated by the rear drum. The primary importance of incoming tension is properly performing the slitting, web handling, and spreading operations, as opposed to influencing roll structure. This leaves nip and torque, the most important tools to roll structure control. Nip mechanics are created when the rear drum indents the roll and winds the paper at a slightly smaller radius. As the roll increases in size, its own weight creates increased nip pressure. The rider roll pressure is therefore decreased to zero to reduce the total overall nip. How does drum size affect nip force? The smaller the diameter of the drum, the greater the indentation or nip force, resulting in higher wound-in tension. 
Different configurations have been tried, including large and small diameter inclined drums. Have you ever wondered why bicycles aren't built with large and small wheels anymore? Well, it goes without saying, gimmicks don't always work. Research indicates that two equal drum diameters of 30 to 34 inches are ideal. Torque, the final factor in TNT, creates wound in tension during the startup of a paper roll. The driving torque between the drums is adjusted to produce a stretching action on the paper between the front and rear drums. It's pretty well documented of the need for tension nip and torque in any winding process. What is not well documented, however, is how each one of these influences the structure of a roll of paper. And every roll of paper is different. Consequently, the control for tension nip and torque in the proper perspective is one of the most important things that the winding process has today. And so more and more attention has to be paid on controlling tension nip and torque on the, as a function of paper grade. Beloit focuses on state-of-the-art measurement and control. At our research labs, we've put our experience to work by developing the optimum settings for different paper grades. On Beloit Winders today, we put this knowledge into an electronic lookup table from which the operator can choose. This eliminates the infinite number of settings that have historically confronted the winder operator. To gain additional information, the Bell Data Process Analyzer and Data Logging System allows for real-time measurement of wound-in tension, torque, speed, and other critical parameters. We've taken the guesswork and gut feel out of the winding process. Now the winding process is repeatable, predictable, and controllable from set to set, shift to shift, and grade to grade. The critical link in the paper mill between efficiency and profitability is the winding process. Only by understanding the physical dynamics of the paper winding process can the barriers to productivity and quality be removed. With Beloit Winders, you're not investing in just equipment. You're putting the benefits of our experience to work for you. Beloit, your partner in papermaking. Innovation, not imitation.